Hello and welcome. I am Victoria Longjun. For several years, the Bank of Industry has granted loans to micro, small and medium entrepreneurs with the aim of boosting the economy, creating wealth and of course reducing youth unemployment. The MSME entrepreneurs who are beneficiaries of these loans cut across different vocations. Through the disbursement of these loans, many entrepreneurs have taken their businesses to enviable heights as they continue to access funds from the Bank of Industry. On this week's edition of the program, we bring you the success story of Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel, a subsidiary of Anchorage Leisures Limited. Anchorage Leisures Limited is a leading indigenous hospitality company in Nigeria, established to promote hospitality tourism and culture through active participation and strategic partnership with global leaders in the hospitality industry. The company is based in Lagos, the commercial capital of Nigeria, and owns and operates Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel, a five-star full-service hotel with a variety of services. Welcome to the program. Welcome back. Now, the business of hospitality and leisure is no doubt a capital-intensive one, and Anchorage Leisures Limited is taking the bull by the horn, as the company's flagship, which is the luxurious Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel Lagos, remains solidly on the global map of the hospitality and tourism industry, with a 170-room five-star hotel in the heart of Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria. The property is operated in partnership with Radisson Hotel Group, one of the world's largest and most dynamic hotel groups. The hotel sits on the banks of the upscale Victoria Island by the beautiful Lagos Lagoon, from where guests enjoy scenic views of Nigeria's commercial capital. Please watch this. Lagos, Nigeria's commercial nerve center, is one of the fastest growing cities in the world which makes it a top destination for both business and leisure travelers, with beautiful sights and attractions that hold visitors spellbound. With Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel, located in the heart of the city, business guests appreciate the hotel's proximity to corporate headquarters, banking districts and consulate, while guests on leisure trips take advantage of the hotel's location to access shopping malls and top Lagos attractions, such as the famous Bar Beach. With an imposing edifice in the heart of Lagos, the hotel manager takes her crew round the five-star hotel, making waves in the city. The number of meetings uh, that cater from as small as two people to a larger meeting for about 100 people. The executive director, Anchorage Leisures Limited, shares her thoughts on the journey of Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel. We've learned about dealing with various um, circumstances that the, that the environment and the economy presented. But all in all, it's been a really, really successful journey for us. In, within the last 10 years, we've, you know, you know, we've built an organization of over 400 um, employees built um, we've trained a lot of Nigerians both male and female we've trained them from um, right from the entry level and we've had many success stories where we've had um, managers that have transited to various other businesses beyond ours so it's been a successful journey in terms of the way we've you know grown people grown industry and um, we've served our customers. But over the period of the 10 years, what has been quite exceptional has been our ability to surmount those challenges. And 
offer solutions that have benefited the organization. For instance, when it came to people challenges, we've had, um, you know, f from an industry that was very new to uh, an industry that's grown over this, you know, in the last 15 years, we've had the opportunity to train over 300 staff members, um, both male and female, coming in at the entry level. We've worked with local um, training um, um, organizations that have increased the, the the diversity of of, of skills that we have um, the areas that were just for instance areas that were just focused on we only had men in those um, areas we've been able to develop women in the engineering sector we've been able to develop um, um, areas that had only maybe um, foreign workers, expatriate workers, we've been able to have workers, uh, indigenous Nigerian workers um, in, in areas like revenue management, um, which was a very new um, a very new occupation, a career that was very new to Nigerian tourism, um, hospitality sector. So we now have Nigerians that are trained as revenue managers. We now have Nigerians that are trained as um, in housekeeping we always had but when it came particularly to specialist skills like an engineering as well we've had we have managers senior managers are you know chief um, engineering officers um, so when it also came to financing I think I mean that's why we're here it's always been difficult in general in real estate to have to have um, the right kind of finance that will match the the, the the nature of the of of the development meaning this is real estate is a long term development and in investment so having um, financing that matches the nature of the investment so that has been that has had been a challenge but with the support of organisations like yours it's really made a big difference we've also had um, challenges with in terms of the um, the different um, government organizations that we've had to engage with and ensuring that we're always on top of you know our conversation with the government organizations being ahead of the game in terms of like engaging them not waiting for the issues to arise and we've um, we've been very fortunate to have successful um, interactions with them um, over this last 10 years yes the facility which sits on a large expanse of land in Lagos overlooking the lagoon is a major attraction for business and leisure travelers. The executive director speaks on COVID-19 pandemic and the future of Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel. We had a situation where the um, our weekends were, we didn't have any, you know, our occupancy rate was very low for the weekends, but and we did everything for the past six, seven, eight years, really a long time to see how are we able to change that trajectory, um, that, you know, model of where we have like, you know, 100% occupancy from Monday to Friday. And then by the time we come to the weekend, we're on like 20 or 30%. But with the pandemic, it's been a, like a natural reversal. Um, not even, I wouldn't call it a total reversal because we're thankfully, because of the quality of our, our product, we're still able to have consistently, consistently um, full occupancy or at least 80% during the week. But what is great is that during the weekends now, we have over 80% occupancy because the local market has seen that they have no alternatives and we are a good alternative to traveling abroad. So we have families, we have couples um, that have come to that come and stay in the hotel to enjoy themselves. So it's, it's, been, it's been really good for us. I believe we do. Um, we do have um, the opportunity to 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 retain our Nigerian customers. I mean, but, but to do that, it has to do more with collaborations. We've seen the need to collaborate more with other tourism sites beyond us, because what, you know, we can't force our customers to stay, but we can offer them, create more offerings. And by creating more offerings for them, it gives them the, the, um, the options and which they were always looking for to stay and partnerships with other uh, other tourism sites as well it's very important within for us 
we ensure that we increase the offerings and the quality of the offerings and the range of the offerings by ensuring that our rooms are renovated, by ensuring that, you know, our suites are renovated, not just our single rooms, are, you know, our suites are renovated. We ensured that um, we have other amenities like our gym was upgraded, our swimming pool, and um, we just ensured that we had, like, we have shopping opportunities for them as well. So we are confident we can retain our customers post pandemic but we are confident that we are we are we do know that we do know, we have to continue to offer more for the customers to ensure that they engage and they feel comfortable and happy and satisfied to stay with us post pandemic first way we ensure that um, local content is retained is our people. I, I think I can't stress that enough. We ensure that we train our people. We train our people to to a level in which they're able to to our people are able to rise up to the level of um, of their competitors um, outside that non Nigerians. And that has that's the first thing we train our people. Second thing is our local. Um, our supply chain, our suppliers and our vendors. Um, again, the pandemic has forced us to look inwards and a lot of our produce, you know, um, we, we sourced a lot of our produce as much as we can locally. Third thing is um, um, ensuring that the the cultural assets um, in terms of, in terms of um, the offerings of our food, um, we ensure that we provide local food and local cuisine across um, um, that show the um, different cultures across Nigeria, then we also ensure that, you know, we, um, um, the artwork, the artifacts, you know, they, 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 are, they, are, they are Nigerian, um, ensuring that we are showcasing local Nigerian talent and artists and photographers. And then we um, ensure that we we just generally infuse um, the um, Nigerian culture of, 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 of hospitality, of, of service, you know. Um, we're very hospita hospitable people and that's how we ensure that local content is retained in Nigeria. We've been very um, blessed to have really good um, vendors um, that are close to, um, to close to close to the farms, you know, and uh, this period, as I said, has offered the local um, local producers the opportunity to actually d dig in deeper and actually start to produce things that they might not necessarily have produced before. Um, yes, the pandemic has been over a year. I know these goods are seasonal, so of course we'll not have certain goods um, produced during certain seasons. But we have, by and by, we've been, you know, by large, we've been able to have a you know a, a whole range of produce that have been um, sourced locally and produced and sourced locally um, we, we the pan as i said the pandemic has been a blessing in this guys we've just been forced to roll up our sleeves and do what we can to to ensure that business continues um our our, our future goals range from um beyond our renovation of our rooms to renovate in the public areas. We've not had the opportunity to do that because, you know, we were, we've been we've been in full operations, even during the COVID, we're in full operations. Uh, so our public areas were actually being used full operations, even though somewhat slightly different. Um, so what we're looking at now is renovating our public areas, um, ensuring that our restaurants, our F&B food and beverage um, um, outlets are upgraded. We're also looking at um, ensuring we have more meeting and events facilities that would be um, now be needed and um, that are needed in the in, in the future. Then we're looking at also expanding the um, the hotel as well. We have access to a property close by next door that will be used to for us to um, expand and offer more rooms because um, we, we see that the customers enjoy our service and we want to offer them more 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 rooms more more rooms more f and b outlets and um, yeah we're excited about the future yes we're we, we are hopeful beyond um, Lagos we're looking at um, um, ensuring that we open something in 
in Abuja. It's a really important market for us. And um, we're excited about the opportunity to open another um, hotel in Abuja as well. Yes. Welcome back. Now, following the intervention of the Bank of Industry, the Chief Financial Officer of Honeywell Group Limited, owners of Anchorage Leisures Limited, and the General Manager of Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel, explains that the hotel has been able to create strategic alliances and opportunities within the system while overcoming the challenges that came after the COVID-19 pandemic. <music> For the Chief Financial Officer of Honeywell Group Limited, mm. owners of Anchorage Ledgers Limited, BOI is a worthy partner. She explains what the funds released by the bank was used for. I would say that um, the relationship we've had has been um, a beneficial one. Um, the BOI has been um, a partner to us. I think from the first day we walked in, I mean, I walked into the BOI office asking for, at that time we were looking to... Um, we were in the process of renovating, doing a major renovation at the hotel. Uh, we just we had realized that um, uh, our facilities needed to be upgraded and we approached the BOI for funding. Um, from the first day that we walked in, they had a conversation with them. I think what was refreshing with that engagement was the fact that the BOI understood our business, they understood our industry. They understood the nuances of our cash flow and they were able to provide financing. Because one of the challenges you would have is that um, in this part of the world, it's always difficult to get um, long-term financing. And um, having an institution like BOI who is willing to provide that kind of financing for your business makes it easy to do the things that you need to do. So when we approached the BOI for financing for uh, the renovation at that time, um, the process was, uh, was smooth. Even though it took a while before, um, from when we made our applications to when the funds was dis was disbursed, but I mean, what made it enjoyable and made it um, um, interesting was the fact that they understood our business. But as soon as approval was given, it was seamless. It was seamless. So um, I would say that um, it was. Um, it, I mean, it has been uh, an interesting journey. Um, recall that I'd mentioned that uh, we were at that time looking to upgrade um, our facility. That's the hotel Anchorage um, that you are in now. And um, the money was used to finance the renovation. So um, the generator, and as you know, power is an important part of hotel and hospitality business in Nigeria. So we used the money to fund um, the acquisition of generators, chillers, and essentially a lot of the equipments that um, are being used in the hotel at that time. Well, I would say that, I mean, since the, you know, because what this has helped us to do was to also, because um, Radisson is a five-star brand and it was important for us to maintain that standard. So what um, this has availed us the opportunity to do is to maintain that standard and to provide uh, premium service to our customers. Um, and um, I think as uh, that had been done, I mean, occupancy has improved and we've got some positive feedback from a lot of our customers on the um, upgrade that, they, that was done and what we're currently doing. Um, that was um, a welcome, would I say, um, support from the BOI. Um, as you would recall, um, when COVID happened, it was something that a lot of organizations had not previously planned for. So when uh, the BOI came up, when COVID happened and um, the hospitality business was one of the worst hit by that, uh, BOI swiftly moved um, into to help us to extend the moratorium on the principal payment from the loan that they had previously granted us by 12 months. And they also reduced the interest that we had previously enjoyed was single digits. They further reduced that. And the, um, the cash from that helped us cushion the effect of the pandemic on our business. And we were by that able to maintain our staff strength through the pandemic. Well, I would say that, I mean, if any entrepreneur or any business owner is looking for long-term finance and they're looking for an organization that would partner with their business, I would say the BO, I mean, BO or the Bank of Industry is the organization and the institution to go to because they're not just only going to give you um, capital or give you f uh, funding. They, they're also interested in your business. They're interested in your success. They're interested in how your business grows and how you thrive. So I would definitely recommend the Bank of Industry. I'd like to say thank you to the Bank of Industry. The uh, journey has been 
very beneficial to us and the BO has been a formidable partner and they've helped us to um, maintain a, a brand, um, our brand and our place in the hospitality industry in Nigeria. So we are very grateful and we look forward to future partnerships. I mean, for us, we're a growing business. We continue to do, uh, uh, we continue to do um, projects and we will definitely be coming back to the BOI for further support in that regard. Beyond her advice to entrepreneurs, the Chief Financial Officer of Honeywell Group Limited remains grateful to BOI for their intervention. Okay. Leveraging his strong brand, the General Manager Radisson Blue Anchorage highlights strategic partnerships the hotel is involved in. Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel takes pride in the fact that, you know, uh, we have uh, managed to uh, look inwards to, uh, for uh, managing our, uh, our supply, uh, to our supplies at the hotel. Obviously, we know that uh, even post uh, pre-COVID and even post-COVID, importation and uh, the fluctuations in the foreign exchange rate has always uh, been uh, put uh, pressure on the importation. But Luckily, because of the brand presence that we have, we have managed to create opportunities within the system to, and again, uh, something that, you know, uh, you know, we have been working hand in hand with Bank of Industries that how to create a uh, local presence and how to, to develop the local industries within uh, and the, the local SMEs. So what we have done is that we have, we have managed to create uh, strategic alliances with the vendors over here and they operate throughout the country uh, now to just to name a few segments we have been sourcing poultry dairy uh, dry products uh, you know fruits vegetables from the local um, um, uh, suppliers which are spread across the country to just to name a few we are working with suppliers in ogun state ocean uh, in oyo state lagos state and uh, ocean ocean state so these are the, uh, so it's widely spread. It gives them an opportunity to work with a, a brand like us. It also helps them grow their business, grow their portfolio. And uh, it's a mutual uh, relationship. It's a, it's, a, it's a relationship that mutually benefits both of us. And uh, it gives them an opportunity to also understand the true hospitality standards and, and, and the, at the level at which they have to produce for us and, and deliver to us. So more or less, uh, we are dependent on each other. We are creating those uh, uh, those uh, industries within the industry. And uh, as the industry grows, the new entries, uh, the new hotel op operators will realize that how we have managed to, to create those sources within the market. With 170 rooms and suites, all styled by Swedish designer Christian Lund Wall and world-class facilities, which include Voyage Restaurant for Nigerian and Continental Dishes, Surface Bar and Grill, The View Hotel Bar overlooking the Lagoon, a well-equipped fitness center, and an outdoor infinity pool, Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel is a place to be for guests who desire class and quality service in a serene atmosphere. Welcome back. The Bank of Industry over the years continues to provide interventions for industries to thrive and best believe there's more where that came from. Now, are you an entrepreneur out there or know anyone in need of financial support to grow their business? Kindly visit any of the branches of the Bank of Industry closest to you or log onto their website at boi.ng. You can also follow the bank on all social media platforms as displayed on your screen. I hope you join us next week for another edition of the program. I am Victoria Longchen. I'll see you next time.